dare to express your desires. Clear communication. If there's anything that makes a relationship dull and unfulfilling, it's not expressing your desires. And there can be many reasons for not expressing your desires. And it often has to do with the way we are brought up and all the strange social rules that society fosters. Do you feel like you are not allowed to communicate your desires? Are you afraid to be seen as egotistical, over-demanding, spoiled, inappropriate, greedy? Or are you afraid of rejection? So become aware of what's holding you back to express your desires. And ask yourself, are those, des are those reasons reasonable? And odds are they're not. Here are some new truths for you. You are worthy. You have a good, innocent heart. You deserve to fulfill your heart's desires. Communicating desires is such a beautiful way to get to know each other more and to connect more deeply. You are allowed and empowered to ask the other person if they want to help you fulfill your desires. And the other person is allowed and empowered to say yes, no, or negotiate. No desire is too weird or too shameful to be communicated. Through Jordan, I met the sex positivity movement. And that movement very beautifully states, whatever consenting adults agree on is positive. I'll repeat that. Whatever consenting adults agree on is positive. And you can apply this truth, of course, wider than just sex. Some examples of daring to express your desires. If you want to receive a massage from someone, you don't have to complain about your back pain and wait for the other person to offer you. You can just ask, would you like to give me a massage? I would like to receive one. And if you feel bad about asking something for yourself, remind yourself that the other person can just say no. The other person is fully empowered to say no, but they might as well say yes, because the pleasure can be on both sides. Another example, if you want to try out a a role play with your sex partner. Feel free to ask. It's a beautiful way to let the other person see more of who you are. And even if this other person doesn't want to do this with you, then still it's beautiful that you expressed your desire and you're not wrong for asking something that the other person doesn't want. It only means that this desire is not compatible with this person. That's all it means. That's all it means. So don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel afraid of rejection. Because you are not rejected. You are not rejected. The only thing that became clear was that a certain desire of you was not compatible with this other person. No desire is too extreme. A last example. A desire that's often viewed as too extreme is when in a relationship, a monogamous relationship, um, one of the partners feels a desire to have another lover. I often see that those kind of desires are most often there, but they're not welcome at all to be showed. So people keep it secret that they actually fancy someone else as well. And wouldn't it be connecting actually for the relationship to not keep those things secret, but to share yourself openly. And if you want to allow for such freedoms, if you want an open relationship, a polyamorous relationship, isn't it beautiful to be able to talk about that? 
So no desire is too extreme. That's the lesson. If you like this video, um, you might probably like some other videos I made on clear communication as well. I made one which is a exercise on learning to share your feelings. Another one um, on communicating as a team. And, um, and those are all part of a bigger lesson I made on co clear communication. It's a video lesson and it's on my website. And you can uh, follow the link. I put it in the description box as well. And you can view that lesson. It's a free preview. It's part of a bigger course uh, that's not for free, but this lesson is for free. And another lesson is also on free preview, which is on self-love. So if that topic resonates with you, you can check that out as well. Um, self-love is such a beautiful topic. Um, I love to make that lesson and I, I think many people will love to watch it as well. So um, yeah. That's it. If you like this video, please give it a like, uh, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to, you can let me know in the comments um, if you have any questions, if you want me to make a video about a certain other topic related to relationship skills. I would love to read your feedback. And I wish you a really great day in which you will hopefully express a lot of desires you've never expressed before and find beautiful heart opening moments because of that. Have a great day.